Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss recursive definition of a function. We can discuss the recursive definition of a function. That is how can we define a function recursively. Let A belongs to W where W is the set of all whole numbers and let capital X be the set A, A plus 1, A plus 2, A plus 3 etc. An inductive definition of a function f with domain x consists of three parts. First part is basis step. That is a few initial values f of a, f of a plus 1, etc. f of a plus k minus 1 are specified. These conditions are called initial conditions. Or the, these uh, equations that specify these initial values are called initial conditions. That is the basis step. Then second step is recursive step. Recursive step contains the formula to compute f of n uh, using the k preceding functional values of f at the points n minus 1, n minus 2, etc. n minus k. Such a formula is uh, a recurrence relation or recursive formula. A recurrence relation or recursive formula. That is in recursive step. Uh, we have to find a formula to compute f of n uh, by using the preceding values of f at the points n minus 1, n minus 2, etc., n minus k. Such a relation is called a recursive relation or recursive formula. The third is terminal step. The valid functional values are those values of f obtained from this f of n. That is the terminal step. So, for convenience, we can drop this step, terminal step. Uh, from the recursive definition. So, the recursive definition of f consists of a finite number of uh, initial conditions, finite number of initial conditions and a recursive relation. We need some values of f at some points a, a plus 1, etc., a plus k minus 1. Then in second step, we have a, a recurrence relation or recursive, recursive formula. By using that recursive formula, we can find the values of f of n. So, for that recursive formula, we have to use the values of uh, f at the preceding points. That is, to find f of n, uh, we have to we, we need uh, the values of f of n minus one, f of n minus two, etc. F of n minus k. By using this, we can uh, if we have such a formula of f of n, that is the recur recurrence relation or recursive formula. Now, recursion can be used to find the minimum and maximum of three or more real numbers. For instance, minimum of w, x, y, z can be written as minimum of w, comma, minimum of x, comma, minimum of y, comma, z. That means first we, ha we have to, if we have to find the minimum of these four real values, we can use this formula. That is, first we have to find the minimum of y, comma, z. Then, we have to find the minimum of x comma the minimum of this y comma z and after obtaining that minimum then we have to find the minimum of w and the minimum of this so we will get uh, the minimum va value of these uh, real numbers similarly we, we can find the formula for maximum of w x y z for example Suppose we need to find the value or minimum value of 23, 5, minus 6, 47 and 31. So by using the previous formula, first we have to find the minimum of 47 and 31. Then we have to find the minimum of that number and minus 6. Then we have to find the minimum of 5 and the minimum of that number also. Then we have to find uh, the minimum of that number and 23. Okay, so from this we get minus 6 because the minimum of 47 and 31 is 31. Now the minimum of minus 6 and 31 that is minus 6. Now the minimum of 5 and minus 6 which is minus 6 again. Now we have to find the minimum of 23 and minus 6 which is also minus 6. So the minimum value is minus 6. Similarly, the maximum of these numbers is obtained by using this formula. So first finding the maximum value of 47 and 31 will get 47 and then finding the maximum value of 47 and minus 6 then again it is 47. Then we have to find the maximum of 47 and 5 
which is again 47 and we have to find the maximum of 47 and 23 which is again 47 so 47 will be the maximum of these numbers now uh, we have an example define recursively the factorial function f we know the factorial function f is defined by f of n is equal to n factorial where f of 0 equal to 1 that is f of n equal to n factorial is nothing but n into n minus 1 n minus 2 etc uh, up to 1 that is 2 into 1 this is the n factorial where f of 0 is 1 that is 0 factorial is equal to 1 okay this is the definition of the factorial function so we have to uh, define this factorial function recursively okay so we know uh, f of n is equal to n factorial which is equal to n into n minus 1 into etc 2 into 1 that is we can write n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 factorial so it can be defined recursively as follows f of 0 equal to 1 this is the initial condition f of 0 equal to 1 and the recursive function or recursive formula can be uh, represented as f of n is equal to n into f of n minus 1 for n is greater than or equal to 1 so this is the initial condition and this is the uh, recursive relation so uh, this is the definition of factorial function uh, as a recurrence formula for example uh, if we need to find the uh, uh, value of f of 3 or f of 3 we know f of 3 is equal to 3 factorial we know this is nothing but 1 into 2 into 3 if we need to find this uh, by using this formula uh, we have already we know uh, the initial condition is f of 0 equal to 1 so f of 3 is equal to uh, we have by using this recurs recurrence relation we have this is 3 into f of 2 right so this is equal to 3 into f of 2 is again we can use this formula f of 2 is equal to replacing n by 2 we get 2 into f of 2 minus 1 that is f of 1 that is uh, 2 into f of 1 this is 3 into 2 into f of 1 can be uh, obtained from this recurrence relation as 1 into f of 1 minus 1 that is 1 into f of 0 1 minus 1 is 0 so f of 0 is given as 1 by initial condition so we have this is 3 into 2 into 1 into 1 so 3 into 2 into 1 as the uh, f of 3 which is nothing but 3 factorial so we have obtained that f of 3 equal 3 factorial in a similar way we can find f of 2 equal to 2 factorial f of 4 is equal to 4 factorial etc so this is the recurrence relation or recurrence expression of uh, factorial function now we can discuss another example that is handshake problem there are n guests at a party suppose we have n guests at a party each pers person shakes hands with everybody else exactly once define recursively the number of handshakes h of n made we would have another guru party n guests and oro oro thirum mattulla varku endeyunu handshake kodukunu oru thavana mathre shake cheyunnullo exactly once uh, each person shakes hands with everybody exactly uh, once okay now we have to define the function h of n which is nothing but the number of handshakes so number of handshakes of n guess is denoted by h of n so we have to define this function h of n recursively so h of n ennu parna kanyala uh, number of hands shakes by n gets guess clearly h of 1 is equal to 0 because h of 1 and the word one all handshake in the end one all where all my handshake chayla agora matro lo and give i all where all my handshake chayla so number of handshakes will be 0 so h of 1 is equal to 0 so we can let n is greater than or equal to Okay, n equal to 1 and the possible and we can choose n greater than or equal to 2. Total we have n guess. Let x be one of guess. The number of handshakes made by the remaining n minus 1 guess among themselves is h of n minus 1. This is by definition we have h of n is the number of handshakes of n guess among this themselves. So x in the guess chana. So bakula n minus 1 guess. Uh, number of handshakes will be h of n minus 1 this is by definition now the person x 
shakes hands with each of these n minus 1 girls that is x and the all baaki n minus 1 all odum handshake cheyyu so uh, we will get number of handshakes will be n minus 1 x shake cheyna ennam n minus 1 aayirikum clear so total number of handshakes will be h of n minus 1 plus n minus 1 where n is greater than or equal to 2 total n girls will be adil x nalla or aal anengil baaki n minus 1 persons undavu so ee x nalla aal n minus 1 persons numayitte handshake cheyyunnathinte ennam n minus 1 aanu now mathramalla ee n minus 1 persons by the definition n minus 1 persons themselves handshake cheyyunnathinte ennam therikkum h of n minus 1 aanu this is by definition so total handshake alde ennam h of n minus 1 plus n minus 1 so idine namakku recursive formula ubayichittu ezhudana so h of 1 is equal to 0 ennalla namakku initial condition aakitte use cheyyam recursively we can write like this h of 1 is equal to 0 initial condition and h of n is equal to h of n minus 1 plus n minus 1 that is for n is greater than or equal to 2 for n equal to 1 we have it is 0 h of 1 is equal to 0 so idu ubayichu kenjal namakku number of handshakes among n guess number by using this recursive formula for example h of 2 ennu parna kenjal we'll get h of 2 minus 1 that is h of 1 plus 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 h of 1 is again 0 so this is 0 plus 1 that is 1 so h of 2 ennu parna kenjal rendu persons rendu guess gal thammil handshake ennende enna adu onne undavallu rendu guess angottu ingottu handshake cheyya ennu parnal oru thavana undavallu so h of 2 equal to 1 h of 1 is 0 ana h of 3 kaanengil h of 3 equal to uh, h of n minus 1 that is h of 2 plus 3 minus 1 that is 2 h of 2 already obtained 1 so this is 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3 so moon where endengil moon handshakes in the total number of handshakes will be 3 next example solve the recurrence relation h of 1 is equal to 0 h of n is equal to h of n minus 1 plus n minus 1 for n is greater than or equal to 2 this is actually the, uh, the recurrence relation we obtained in the previous example. So, e recurrence relation we solve it. So, for n is equal to 1, we have h of 1 is equal to 0. And for uh, other values of n, we have h of n is equal to h of n minus 1 plus n minus 1. So, e h of n is the value we have to do. So, h of n, we have h of n is equal to h of n minus 1 plus n minus 1. Applying uh, iteratively this h of n. So, h of n minus 1 will be will be what? Uh, replacing here n by n minus 1, we get h of n minus 1 is equal to h of n minus 2 plus n minus 2. So, we can replace this h of n minus 1 as this h of n minus 2 plus n minus 2. Again, this n minus 1 is this. So, now replacing h of n minus 2 h of n minus 2 is nothing but replacing n by n minus 2 so we will get h of n minus 3 plus n minus 3 so this will be h of uh, n minus 3 plus n minus 3 is h of n minus 2 right so here we have h n minus 2 plus n minus 1 etc so uh, repeating like this we get this is h of n minus 1 is here h of n minus 2 h of n minus 3 plus n minus 3 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 1 etc so we have if this is equal to h of 2 plus we have 2 plus 3 plus etc plus n minus 2 plus n minus 1. Now h of 2 is again we have h of 2 equal to h of 1 plus 1. So h of 2 can be written as h of 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc and by n minus 2 plus n minus 1. Uh, we have by initial condition h of 1 equal to 0. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc plus n minus 1. We have uh, the first, the sum of first n natural numbers is equal to n into n minus 1 divided by 2. So, we have here uh, the sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers. So, we have n minus 1 plus n minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2. That is n, this is n into n minus 1 by 2. So, n minus 1 into n by 2. So, this will be the uh, h of n. 